All right, what's going on guys? Uh, you guys like my little shiner I got there from uh, playing in the basketball tournament over the weekend? Uh, if any of you guys were um, uh, emailing me and I was a, a little bit slow to respond, uh, I apologize. That was why I've been concussed. Um, so I've been a little bit out of it, <laughs> I apologize. But um, all right, we're gonna have a quick one today. Look, uh, whenever you guys are throwing up questions and stuff, I like to answer them. So um, there have been a couple things that um, people noticed with some issues with some links. I'm gonna address that. But mostly I wanna talk about protein intake. Okay, so um, somebody reached out to me and was like, man, I thought the protein intake is so high. Um, like, and they were basically saying that they had done some research and they had found that you don't need to have that much protein in general. So any of you that follow me know that I speak about this all the time. So I really want to address and lock it down, okay? Because there are a couple ways to approach this and it's very important that you guys understand how those things work, okay? So first off, protein intake. When it comes to protein intake, you really only need, it's between like 0.6 and 0.8 grams per kilo or what's per 2.2 pounds. It also works out to being normally what your lean mass is, like what you weigh in like just muscle and bone and stuff, right? Now, science, now the studies have proven that. That would mean that your protein intake would actually be way lower than what we've got inside of the document. So I'm gonna make another document that kind of explains that, but this goes with it. And I'm gonna add this to the member site. So for future, for future people that come in, um, this is gonna be there directing them to this conversation. So there's two things here. Number one, for maximum muscle protein synthesis, you really only need about that 0.6 to 0.8 grams. Normally, normally I'm at about 0.8 grams per kilo calorie, right? Or per kilo. Now, when you are trying to change your body composition, that is when the higher protein content will come into play. And it's normally only for shorter spurts of time. So you're talking about like, four, six, eight, or like 12 weeks, and then you would probably back off of that, and then you would go back to it. Understand, that's the most important thing to understand, because people are gonna be like, oh, you need more protein. Listen, if you guys follow any of my stuff, you guys have heard me talk about how I've survived on like 100 grams at 240 pounds, around 100 grams of protein um, for like two, three years a day, right? <clears throat> Mostly. You know, sometimes more, sometimes a little bit less, but when, but when I was trying to change my body composition, which means I was trying to reduce my body fat drastically and increase my lean muscle mass, you know, looking leaner, abs showing, things like that, that is when the higher protein content comes into play. Now, on a plant-based diet, is it a little bit more difficult? I don't call it difficult. It is, it's a definitely a complete mindset and change, right? So for me, I'm toying around with a whole lot of different things, but like I had a I had protein today that had like oatmeal and it has like a half of a scoop of protein because it's too much if you put like a whole scoop. You have to put like a lot of um, almond milk or soy milk. So that's like another 10 grams of protein on top of the five or 10 grams that are already inside of the oatmeal naturally. Plus I add a serving, um, three servings of hemp parts. It's another 12 grams of protein. Plus I add, um, a uh, half a tape or one tablespoon of peanut butter, which is another three and a half grams of protein. You know what I mean? And it starts to add on by the time I get done. I also add, you know, some superfoods and then, you know, it's another five or 10 grams of protein. I've got plenty of protein there, right? You got to get creative and you got to get innovative, okay? If that's something that you're struggling with, go, in one of my emails, I had a link like to my Pinterest account, go there. I highly suggest you using shakes, right? Um, it's a little tougher when you're on the whole food plant base to, to get the amount of protein that we're talking about for short periods of time, though it is possible and you have to play around. Typically, you're gonna look to have like 25% of your protein, um, excuse me, you're gonna look to have 25% of your total calories that you're intaking be in protein. So if I was taking in um, a thousand calories a day, right? 25 per, excuse me, 2,000 calories, and nobody's gonna that, 2,000 calories, 25% of your total caloric intake, that would need to be in the form of protein, right? 
and go back, look at the guide for creating your own macros. It's gonna break down and help you understand like how all of that works. If you're lost, go back and check that out and then come here, ask a question, drop, drop an email to the support team or something. But I just wanted to address that. Not necessarily, right? Is it gonna be, okay, man, I'm digging in and I've gotta have all this protein. For a short period of time, it's going to help you Play around with your body composition, reducing your body fat, increasing your lean muscle mass. Will you sustain that for long periods? No, you'll probably, once you reduce your body composition, change the way you're eating for a little bit, and the way that you train is gonna help you to maintain that. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was a really, really great question, um, and it gave me some ideas of going back to clarify a little bit more. So some of the links um, have had some issues. I'll be going in and fixing those. If you guys find any, please just email it to the support team. That way it's logged and we'll go in and fix it. Human error, sorry about that. Things happen with the links. Um, there were also some questions about changing the spreadsheets to rep, to, um, to work for kilograms. And so I'll be working on that also. Like again, sorry guys, I've just been out of it a little bit. I, I had the concussion, so I wasn't really myself for about honestly the last like four days or so. But I just want to communicate. Um, so this is gonna be one of the videos that are gonna be inside of our um, inside of our lessons. So I'll make sure to go add this there. Any questions you have, please, any questions about this topic, please post on this feed so other people can see those questions and we can answer them and keep them with the FAQ. So if you guys need anything, let me know, okay? Take it easy.